Hey guys, how are y'all today? I thought I would share a video about sealing my scratch boards. Uh, the question has come up lately about how different ones of us do that. Um, so I thought I'd share that. Uh, always wear protective breathing gear, as I just pointed out, <laughs> before you do this, because this stuff is very strong and it may not bother you at first but it will eventually so here's my two latest pieces um, that I've just most recently done and I'm gonna show you my process of sealing these and in watching this video you will see me make a boo-boo but I'm kinda glad that I did because it will show you um, what not to do. Um, as you see, I'm pointing out there, a controlled environment is very important. If you can at all find that uh, a temperature controlled room, low dust, um, very important. Something to clean your scratch board off with first, like the can of air, um, a very soft brush, and then the uh, sealer, which I use uh, the Krylon fixative, it seems to work the best that I've noticed as of late, past few years. Scratch board, uh, clay, made by Clayboard, used to make a great one, and they don't make it anymore. Sad. But uh, this um, this new one, uh, this Krylon one that they make, has seemed to be, seems to work the best. So I always test it out first. Um, I clean my nozzle on the fixative really good every time that's very important after use rinse it under warm water your nozzle it really helps with not getting splatter that being said you still will get that so it's always good to test it on a test board first before you spray your actual piece and boy i've got to find that woodpecker and when i do i'm gonna get him i've got a woodpecker problem Anyway, um, so, you know, as I showed you there, spray it off with the air, can of air, and then you're going to want to have your um, fixative, um, a good a good four to six inches is what I do, not super close where it runs. You don't want it to run down your board. And you want your board, in my opinion, to be at a very a low angle, not like I have it here. <laughs> So this is just to show you about how close you want it to be when you're spraying it. Um, I start at the top and I work my way, um, as I'm demonstrating there, down to the bottom. Um, and there's a quick demonstration of it right there. Just a quick back and forth. And then you're just going to let it dry. I generally will do two coats no more um, you start doing too many coats it will turn foggy white on you uh, i've learned that the hard way so before again before i do my actual piece i try to make sure my nozzle is nice and clean um, you put so many hours into these pieces you want to make sure everything comes together if possible again that being said it doesn't always work out no matter how hard you try to make this this is the scariest part um, of being a, a scratch board artist it's uh, already a delicate art form very delicate and then you know, here I am putting holes in my pieces after I'm done turning them into clocks. And then, or before that, you know, then I've got the concern of, you know, spraying it and hoping I don't mess it up spraying it. And then I'm going to go put holes in it. So, yeah, there's the woodpecker. I'm the woodpecker. I just gave it away. But anyway, um, yeah, you see that, that real pretty shine? That's what you want right there. Um, that's the key. 
You want it to all come together, and usually it does. Um, it's just a lot of steps go into it before you do it. And see, I'm, I even take another practice spray just to make sure I feel it's coming out of that nozzle the way I want it to. And then I <clears throat> just uh, try to make sure my board is free of fuzz, lint, hair, anything that could be on it. I inspect it the best I can under good lighting. And when I'm happy with how the board looks, I get ready to seal it. And really the best way to do this is almost at a flat angle. And, um, but I'm almost, I'm glad I didn't ruin this piece, but what you're going to see here, um, I'm glad that it happened just to show you that this is way too high of an angle to be spraying this. For the most part it does good, but um, a too high of an angle and I hung around the top way too long so as you see me grab it I realized right away and I tried to grab it real quick to flatten it out because I realized what I did rookie mistake <laughs> um, and I find that it dries when you lay it flat it just all kind of settles in real nice um, but there's the boo-boo right there towards the edge and thank goodness um, a frame or a mat will cover that up, but you know if you're planning not to mat it or frame it, well, there you go. You know it's it's there. Um, you can touch it up. Um, you'll see me spray it again here, and if you get it sprayed again the second time right, sometimes you can cover that up, which for the most part I think it does here in a minute. Um, yeah, back over a second time. And there's an art in itself those of you who already know how to do this there's an art to itself in sealing these uh, scratch boards it's just such a delicate process so there it is um, looks a lot better I'll show you an angle here in a minute where it looks a lot better I'm trying to inspect it looks a lot better there it's not near as <laughs> yeah so frustrating but that's <clears throat> my fault it was too high of an angle and uh, but demonstrates how how important it is to get that angle right almost flat so on the second one you'll see how different of an angle um, it's supposed to be at now watch how perfectly this one comes together um, real quick even sprays this is the key. No hesitation. And I mean just spot on. That is what you want it to look like. Again, in my opinion. Yes. And I believe I'll, after that dries, I'll put another coat on it, um, just for good measure. That's about all you want on it, is about two coats that I'll ever put on them. One coat's really good enough, but I like a good solid two coats. But look at that, that um, is how you want it to look, right there. And this one for the most part, really good too, other than those edges. Just shows how important you want to not hang in one spot for very long at all. You want to start at the top and keep moving so till you get to the bottom. For the most part, the middle um, area is uh, really good. So... I've had some that, oh, you just, your heart breaks because it's just not right and you decide to keep it yourself because you can't sell it 
with that many splatter marks and um, nothing you really do about it. So here's a second coat I believe on the uh, mountain and galaxy one here. Again, just real quick, even sprays is the key. Just no hesitation in that angle of the board. So key. And I try to get it flat afterwards. And you'll see that second coat. Ooh, just makes it pop right there yep so I really hope this has helped um, I know it's it's a question I've gotten in the past um, a couple times on my uh, Instagram feeds um, you know how do you seal them what do you do? What's your method? And then it came up in a question recently on Facebook. And so I thought I would share this. I hope it has helped. I really do. And as you saw, it still, I've been doing this for 20 years. And it is still, um, the risk of making a mistake is always there. That you just have to be prepared for. But. If you take the right steps, they are few and far between um, than they uh, can be if you don't take the right steps. So, I hope this helped. Thanks guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And always be on the lookout for new content. See you later. And wear the protective equipment. Bye, guys.